what's happening team? We are back on the road. I'm taking you now to where our club really started to take off. This um, you know, transition from Ibar to outside was really uh, transformational for our company for a couple of reasons. The first is, you know, we were playing on cement, we were never gonna grow. Two, soccer's been meant to play outside on grass, so it just makes sense naturally as a progression. But three, it's really the darling of our business and how we're able to actually expand, offer our programming now around the country to individuals, um, you know, groups to be able to take our programming and run them. The story's really cool, um, but, you know, it wasn't necessarily the easiest transition leaving Ibar because obviously going anywhere new is tough because people are used to going to like one location. And, you know, there's something special about the back of Ibar and the lights over the top of it and the music, but we outgrew the space. As I started looking around for different locations, literally within, I don't know, half a mile as a, as a public recreational center, this was the first park. This was where we started everything. Oh. All right, here we are. We're at the uh, Recreational Center off of West Gray in the River Oaks area. This was the first official park for Sphere. And like I mentioned earlier, this was a really important step for us as a, as a, as a team, just because you know, we finally outgrew our first space behind uh, Ibar and you know, we had to take our programming somewhere else. I mentioned there was challenges of weather and um, of course lighting, but you know, that couldn't stop us. So here, there's obviously the tennis courts with the lighting, so that helped us a little bit. But you know, the whole idea about getting outside was truly just to be able to keep the ball rolling, right? Um, you know, the great thing about our programming is that you can literally find any place to play, right? You just saw us playing on a on a concrete asphalt parking lot, or you know, there's a there's grass spots everywhere, right? I used to use the backstop to kind of keep the balls in play, so it was almost like our own, you know boundary helped kind of keep the players kind of in line. I used to put the goal down there and then another goal here and then draw the sideline there. So the two walls, if you will, and you know, balls would only go this way or that way. And then we kind of grew. So then we had to like go to this base over here. We made the field much bigger, you know, and as a technician, I just constantly kept adjusting the workout, um, you know, and again, my idea was I wanted to create that indoor facility. I wanted to create that lights down, music up concept. I wanted to you know, find a way to create this magical beat based concept. So as I was working towards that, you know, you kind of obviously you know, use what you have and also the space that you've been given. So being outside was always about getting as many people around you as possible because in the back of Ibar, we had a small group of people, but it was buzzing and there was a lot of energy and the music was hype and so it was, it was much different than the experience of coming outside because you know, we would have maybe like eight, 12 people and that would be max and a lot and a great, great time. But out here, eight to 12 people, I don't know, it just became a different experience, not in a bad way, but it was more uh, about trying to get more people together. So what we really try to focus on doing is saying, how many people can we get outside to enjoy this experience and create an atmosphere by the community coming together? During this experience and during this time, I would start reaching out to people on Instagram and you know, was recruiting and people were starting to hear about Sphere. And so I, I found a guy by the name of CJ Finley, who is in Austin now. But you know, we were working together and you know, really started to fall in love with the concept. And he said, you know, hey Mike, like, I, you know, I'm moving to Austin. You know, I'd, love to, I'd love to keep the ball rolling. I'd love to take Sphere to Austin. You know, can we make that happen? And I was like, yeah, like, why not? Let's do it. So we went back and forth on it for a while. And finally, you know, he and his uh, now wife moved to Austin and, um, you know, gave him the equipment, gave him some pennies, which we barely had anything at the time. And, you know, we kicked off in Austin, Texas, almost four-ish, five years, four and a half years ago. And that's kind of been the growth of Sphere over the past year. Um, especially during the pandemic of people enjoying our experiences and wanting to take our concept sphere, like it's a, it's a ball and we're passing it to other people 
so that they can continue to create you know human connection through soccer and fitness so anyways we're heading to austin texas we have our seven year anniversary coming up next weekend and it's serendipitous of the timing right but obviously launching this youtube series was to share the story of sphere first off because there's a lot of things within this concept that have happened that i truly believe deserve light and you know need to be uh explored and shared with you but more importantly being able to see where Austin started and where it is today. And now is a darling of our business. It's a wonderful place. Obviously, it's an incredible city. Um, but more importantly, it is home to some of the best teammates in our club. So come on, let's go to Austin.